In Carlsbad, an infant is immunized against dangerous childhood diseases. In Oceanside, a man receives dental care. In Encinitas, an expectant mother gets the help she needs to deliver a healthy baby. And in San Marcos, a parent is instructed how to control her child's asthma. Just a small part of the comprehensive health care provided every day throughout the North County by North County Health Services. North County Health Services got its start in 1973 with a small clinic in Ramona. Now there are nine locations across North County with two more health centers to be added in San Marcos and Oceanside. North County Health Services now helps 60,000 people a year, a total of nearly two million over its 35-year history. We are a traditional medical practice in every sense of the word, providing board-certified doctors, nurses, clinicians, and counselors, all working together to provide integrated medical care for our patients. There's great satisfaction in being able to provide health care to patients that really have no other health care options. And for Dr. Ken Morris, Part of that satisfaction is being part of a team that offers compassionate, comprehensive care. Single. I have the opportunity to work with social workers, nutritionists, health educators, and others that really help us put together a comprehensive health care piece for our patients. Care at North County Health Services is integrated and understandable. It is designed to both treat and educate and lead to healthier lifestyles. The mission at North County Health Services is to provide comprehensive health services, not only medical care, but we also provide dental care for their needs. We also provide health education. It is critical that these individuals get the proper health care and screening so that they stay healthy because if we were not here to provide services to this population, they may not get that service and if they need health care and it goes unattended, they do end up in an emergency room where it would be more costly for them as an individual, it's costly for the hospital because there's no reimbursement for them, and eventually it's costly for the taxpayer. I was angry, frustrated, confused. Just didn't want to do anything, I didn't care. Well, I just didn't really try anymore. I would yell at them a lot and be disrespectful, and they, they feared me. Even over the smallest things, me and my mom would argue. I got into drugs, and also my school behavior wasn't good. I got expelled from a school. So I came home at like 2 a.m.? Or not at all. New Haven, a residential treatment facility serving all of Southern California, provides a safe, supportive, and structured living environment where adolescent males with special needs are valued and given hope for a better future. Within the first few days of arriving, the young men are given a welcome package of bedding, towels, and fresh baked goods from the volunteer group, Friends of New Haven. What this bag will bring to the boys that come to New Haven is not just things. It will hopefully show them that that someone who doesn't even know them cares about them and they want them to succeed in New Haven. Oftentimes, the youth who are placed at New Haven have had multiple placement failures and they are reluctant to start the process of turning their lives around. Like hit the walls maybe and yell. Taking time to adjust is expected. The first 30 to 45 days on campus can be the most difficult part of the growth process. In order for them to grow and heal and move forward with their life, they have to reclaim their true self. They have to discover and reclaim that part of themselves that is authentic and real. Here's a great idea. Open this amazing school where students are given real world training and vital construction trades. But don't stop there. Make the school academically challenging. Math, English, Science, Social Studies, all of it. That way, when students graduate, they can choose to attend college, an apprenticeship program, or a great job. They'll be ready for both. But don't stop there either. Teach them about personal responsibility and what it means to be a good citizen and work to really make a positive difference in their community. It is a great idea. It's North County Trade Tech High School. 
Traytech was designed for students interested in careers in the building trades. There's a growing need for skilled crafts workers in the construction industry and jobs, lots of great jobs. At Traytech, the emphasis is on the development of skills for the 21st century workplace. On-the-job pre-apprenticeship training and internships where students learn how to do a job but also learn the inner workings of a business, like business plans and budgets. And classroom training, where they work in small groups with advisors and learn about accountability and deadlines and work on community-based projects, addressing real community needs. It's a real-world project. You're gonna be installing a window there. Okay, this is your project. What we're gonna do is we're gonna integrate the standards that the state of California requires you to learn how that applies to earning your high school credits, meeting your standards, and most importantly, learning a skill that you can take into the real world. We're out here in the community and we've identified a need that this house could use some renovation. The students here are taking the lessons and the skills they've learned in the classroom and the workshop and now we're applying them out here in the community. It provides the students a chance to learn teamwork as well as leadership skills. Our students at North County Trade Tech High School will be successful and will benefit their community. It's been designed for success.